Hey friends! So we're now well into 2019, so uh, let's look back and see what I've been up to. On the last day of our beloved 2018, I was still in Halifax visiting my aunt and my grandma, but then I headed home on the bus. So I had a lovely weekend visiting my aunt and my grandma. You know it's my favorite holiday. Also, birthday shout out to Jordan. He's 21 now. I'm catching up soon. I have a really good feeling about 2019. It's gonna be my year. I didn't feel that way about 2018. I feel good about 2019, so I think we're headed the right way, guys. My mom, dad, and I always go out for New Year's Eve supper, so we decided on Eastside Mario's this year. <laughs> yeah, thank God for that, eh? <laughs> As usual, Mom and I watched a few episodes of the really addicting new series on Netflix called You, and then we just hung out until we rang in the new year. What do you think, Lace? Ready for a new one? New year? New you? New goals? Resolutions? Nap more? Are you excited, Dad? Yes. Why are you excited? Because it's a new year and I can start over you again. You can sleep all, all year again. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Happy New Year! <laughs> Woo! Yay! 2019! <laughs> this is Ginger Ale. Yay! <laughs> It's 2019! You don't care. You're a cat. As it's 2019, I just gotta say something that makes me feel old. Is that I remember nine years ago, clearly. Like, it was New Year's Day, I went to my friend Maria's house, and then we were, we, her and her stepsister at the time, and I saw some hockey boys, and we were yelling at the hockey boys. I'm getting to that age where I can remember nine years ago. <laughs> on the first day of 2019, I worked on changing my calendars. Bye! For once, my family was really ahead of the game and we took the Christmas tree and all the decorations down. On January 1st, we're putting the Christmas decorations away, so I just wanted to capture our beautiful tree and all mom's dear and our cute little villages one last time. And then we went to my aunt's and enjoyed a lovely ham supper and just had some fun family time. There is so much snow on this car. I'm never gonna finish. It's been like 10 minutes. On January 2nd, I had a fun day with my aunt Janine. Oh, hold on, she's trying to high for it and then she gets it. And she's playing a game, a game herself. Break. We went to the mall, enjoyed pretzels and coffee, and just chatted for almost two hours. We went to the designer shoe warehouse, and Michael's, and PetSmart, and Canadian Tire. We were all around the town. We enjoyed a nice meal at Swiss Chalet, and then I made a quick trip to Superstore for some groceries we needed, and I bought some socks because they were on sale, and I bought some Christmas treats because, again, they were on sale. I just went to Superstore because... We were out of toilet paper and my mom wants to make a casserole, so I got some of the ingredients for that. Break is coming to an end. In one week, I'll be back in class. <laughs> so yummy. On January 3rd, I enjoyed making a delicious taco salad. Get some taco salad. Ta-da! I fixed my mom's radio and as a result, I had a dance party. Mom and I went to Walmart and had a fun little trip. It's our favorite thing to do, just hanging out at Walmart. Louise and I are stocking up. I always think of those songs uh, with chocolate. That's so cute. Got some groceries. It was good to get out, you know? Yeah, because I was feeling claustrophobic there. Yeah. 
so that was today. And I got some $4 pants at Value Village. Talk about a deal. Of course, we watched even more You. You my little lap cat, huh? Mayhem. On January 4th, I went to the hospital and visited some of my old work buddies. It was GST day, so everyone was super happy to get some money. Well, us poor folk anyways. Hey friends, so today is a wonderful day for underpaid Canadians because it's GST day. That means the Canadian government gives us poor, poor people <laughs> um, some moolah. So uh, I can pay my phone bill now, so life is grand. <laughs> We went to Marshall's because mom wanted to find a new painting and then dad and I helped her hang up all her new artwork. That's super It's a little pretty. couchy day. Oh. Well, it's not realistic, mom, but if you like it. Well, the pink ones are no more realistic either. Well, that's it. So we hung all of mom's art. She bought this one today. She loves blue, so it's perfect for her. And then we adjusted that one so it's a better height. My mom made her delicious macaroni casserole and I wrote some more songs and I sang those songs and I might have done something else that day. I don't really, I don't really know. He wants to go back to LA. So mom and I are enjoying our last night together. We are going to have to watch two episodes of You tonight. Normally we only watch one. We've been loving this series. But um, because we only have two left in season one, we're going to have to watch two so we know what happens because it's super intense. But I saw on Facebook, Mom, apparently there's a cliffhanger for season two. Oh, really? So. This is what I have to leave tomorrow. And my lovely mom. On Saturday, I enjoyed playing my Wii because you don't know what you got until it's not around anymore. So I took advantage and played a few games of Mario Kart. I went to the mall because Victoria's Secret was having their big sale and I got to see my cousin because she works there. So it worked out really well. I got a pretzel at the mall, of course, because they don't have those in Saskatchewan. So I had to uh, have a treat before I went back home. I bid farewell to my favorite little kitty, Lacey. All right, Lacey, I'll see you in April, okay? You take care. I love you lots. You're the best kitty in the whole world. Mwah. I said goodbye to my lovely parents and my aunt at the airport. So long, New Brunswick Air. Bye. <laughs> bye. Love ya. Bye bye. And uh, they kind of have this glass thing where you can see your loved ones after you pass security because God forbid you can talk to each other after security. Could be plotting something, of course. And there was the sweetest couple there. They were drawing hearts on the glass and talking on the phone and crying. And my heart just melted. Two to go now through gate number one or two. When I got to Toronto, I made it for last call. That has never happened to me before. It was really stressful. My heart was going like this, but then they just made us sit on the plane for an hour because they hadn't performed a security check yet. And then on Saturday, you could call it because I arrived after midnight, even though I was supposed to be here by 11, my lovely friend Kyla drove me home and I had to get readjusted to life in the dorm. I made it. And now I wanna go home. See, I said that when I was in Moncton. Can never decide. Anyways, uh, not the point. For the first time in my life, it was last call. And I ran to the desk, ran on the plane, movie moment and then you know what happened we waited there for an hour because they were doing a security inspection i could have been in the airport at a and w but no i was sitting on the plane life is something saturday morning i rushed out to get some groceries because the only thing i had to eat was some oranges i took from moncton sarah and i met up again we went to the mall and had fun catching up it's a sarah for the dollar store Take me to the dollar store. Take me to the queso. Queso. Queso means cheese in Spanish. I got to see my precious little fish, Sushi, again. I picked him up from Sarah's house and brought him home. Sushi's alive. Where are you, Sushi? Right there. <laughs> You're alive. Thank you, Sarah. And Sam and I got to hang out. He's one of my greatest friends. 
and we haven't seen each other in forever, but we really had fun. We went to Costco and stocked up on food, thanks to my new membership. And we went to Boston Pizza and had our starting lineup because that is our favorite thing to do. So it was a crazy week filled with adventures. But that just means we're having fun in 2019, taking advantage of this new year. New year, new us, right, right, right? <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to see what else I get up to in 2019. Uh-huh, honey.